So I wanted to show you guys how to play the original, real Rainbow Six experience for free uh, on today's computers. So first you need to go to moddb.com moddb.com It's a pretty old website uh, where people go and upload the mods they make for various games and uh, where uh, other modding websites have uh, evaporated or dried up and blown away um, ModDB is still actually around so uh, first what you want to do is go to the search box at the top and I think what we're looking for is Black Ops version 2.0. Hopefully that'll get us there. Rainbow Six Black Ops version 2.0. Well, that's the says German patch. Um, I think this is it. Rainbow Six Black Black Ops 2.0 mod. Okay, here it is. So. This uh, is, well, I'll just read the description. Rainbow Six Black Ops 2.0 is a much more refined version of the fan-made compilation first released in 2011 by, what is that, H HCH? Later improved by Valdez or Valdez and DJ Edio in 2014. Two decades after the release of Rainbow Six Blackthorn, Black Ops 2.0 offers the ultimate Rainbow Six experience. And then it tells you all the titles that are included in this compilation. And basically it's everything before Rainbow Six uh, Raven Shield. So it's everything before Rainbow Six um, came out on the Unreal Engine, I think. And uh, anyway, um, in, in my opinion, this was like some of the best, really, Rainbow Six uh, you could get. Um, because Raven Shield, it did some things. It didn't, it kind of didn't feel quite right, in my opinion, compared to the earlier Rainbow Six experience. I know lots of people think it was wonderful and maybe it's much better with some of the mods that have been made for it since then but to me Raven Shield was not as good as the original titles for one on the Unreal Engine apparently they had I don't know if it was a design decision by the team that made Raven Shield or if it was a limitation at the time in the Unreal Engine, but they didn't have any doors with windows in them in Rainbow Six Raven Shield. And when you play Rainbow Six Takedown and you see what the Koreans did with glass in the Rogue Spear engine, Rogue Spear is the sequel to the very first Rainbow Six. Then you're going to see why I didn't like the fact that they didn't have any windows and doors. Um, because they did some amazing things with glass in their maps. Um, anyway, so you get Rainbow Six One on the PC and its expansions, and you get uh, Rainbow Six Rogue Spear, the sequel, and its expansions, plus the Korean version of. Uh, Rogue Spear, um, which is called Takedown. So you get all of this content and uh, you get it in this free mod you could download, which it's, it's, it's basically a standalone compilation. You don't need anything but, but the file that you download. And it's made to run on newer versions of Windows, which if you ever tried to play your old copy of Rogue Spear on disk on newer versions of Windows, uh, you saw what a problem that was. Or 
or even I think um geez was it Windows XP or Windows ME um one of those versions of Windows handled like text files differently or something and it wound up breaking the original Rainbow Six One, so so that would no longer work in newer versions of Windows. So anyway, um, I think his he goes by the name Minerva or Menreva or something like that. But uh, he's compiled this mod, and he's also uh, done something with some files or some technology so that it it actually runs on I know it w runs on Windows 10 I can't say whether it runs on Windows 11 but I believe it's supposed to so um, so this was the first time I got to play the original Rainbow Six titles in like over 10 years maybe over 15 I don't know it's been a while so I I was just in hog heaven because uh, uh, this was um, these uh, these were a couple of games that my father and I, you know, really bonded over. Uh, we we both enjoyed these games so much, and uh, we had like two different play styles, and uh, and yet this was like always something we could enjoy uh, together, and. Uh, Anyway, so I'm really happy to be able to to experience it again. So you could download Rainbow Six Black Ops 2.0. Now, if you look up um, uh, black in the search ba uh, box, black bag. Uh, I think I'm at currently at v version 0.88. So V0.88, maybe we'll find it. There it is. So that's the file. Uh, and then you could just click on black bag to get the to the top of this mod. So this is a weapons mod that I'm working on for uh, Black Ops version 2.0. So what you do is after you've installed Black Ops um, version 2.0 and I would recommend you know playing it a bit to get a feel for um, the experience that is is true to the original Rogue Spear um, then uh, you know then after that if you want more weapons or if you want somewhat different gameplay then you could download Black Bag, this mod that I'm working on. You install it to your um, Black Ops uh, mods folder, and then you go into your main menu to options, then to mods, and then you uh, activate uh, Black Ops version 0 0.88 or or whatever the most recent version is at the time of your viewing this video and then you go back to the main menu and then you just play it normally and you'll get a different uh, gaming experience and my um, my goals uh, with black bag are to provide a more realistic uh, soundscape to uh, the weapons in the mod um, but then as I was working on this mod I came up with some ideas for other ways to improve the game so I've improved some sounds uh, that are not weapon sound effects but I've also uh, created new AI capabilities like now the tangos um, and also the team members if you set them up to do to do it but I, I'm not sure I really recommend that um, but the tangos will throw flashbangs um, and fragmentation grenades or they can launch them from a grenade launcher um, 
and there are also suicide bombers on s some of the maps. So, so without actually tweaking or tampering with the AI code in the executable, because I don't have that kind of access and I don't have that kind of skill, um, by working with the the text files that make the make uh, make up the weapons, I was able to create these workarounds that allowed the AI to do these things on the fly. So uh, it adds um, some serious uh, levels of danger. Uh, at the same time, I have decreased the danger in other ways. Uh, for example, I have um, uh, some of the, the pistols that the Tangos uh, use, I've switched their ammo type to jacketed hollow points um, so that uh, they'll be less likely to uh, penetrate um, Rainbow's uh, body armor, and um, but th I mean they still have they can still do um, quite a bit of blunt force trauma damage, and um, and then some ammo. Uh, um, I don't think I've set everything that way. Like for example, the I think the Tula Tokarev ammo which is also used in the PPSH-41 that I've added to this mod. Uh, I'm not sure if I've set that to jacketed hollow point because that round is notorious for being able to to defeat light body armor. So, so I've tried to, to keep things realistic. Um, I also added the ability for the AI to fire in lower... Um, fire selection modes. In other words, the game is set so that the <coughs> AI always uses the highest round count firing mode. So in other words, if the weapon has full auto, um, then the AI will shoot in full auto. If it has three round burst but not full auto, then it will shoot in three round burst. And then if it has neither um, full auto or three round burst, well then it will fire in semi-automatic. <clears throat> well I've changed that so now though the AI isn't able to switch between firing modes, now some uh, some tangos will shoot in three round burst and some will shoot in semi-automatic instead of full auto. So that kind of, um, it, it certainly changes the soundscape, but it also um, changes the gameplay somewhat. What it doesn't do is change the fact that, that AI aims for the head, whether that's Rainbow or whether it's Tangos. In my opinion, there shouldn't be any Tangos aiming for the head. Like, even Delta Force guys, you know, didn't aim for the head uh, in, in lots of uh, scenarios, apparently. Um, you know, but like Rainbow was supposed to be trained at Hereford um, with help from the Special Air Service, and, and I guess the Special Air Service was uh maybe trained to shoot for the head but then in some portrayals of like the Iranian embassy takedown uh, I'm not seeing them sh aiming for the head it looks like they're shooting center of mass uh like soldiers do so I'm not sure what the truth is but um I certainly don't think that tangos should be aiming for the head at uh, 100 or 200 meters without um, some kind of magnified optic. 
but there's nothing I can do about that. Um, all, the only thing that I can do about that is that I can negate uh, or nullify any hits to the head, but I believe that works in both directions. So then if you're taking a headshot, um, now you're not able to kill a tango by taking a headshot because it's been nullified in the other direction. Um, so that's not ideal. And there's, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, ground branch, which is the, really the spiritual successor to these original Rainbow Six games, they added the ability to specify the point on the body at which the uh, AI will um, aim. So, um, you know, I, I, I got to give them some massive applaud for that because that really makes a big difference in a, in a counter-terrorist game. Um, so, anyway. But with Black Bag, you're getting the absolute best that I can come up with um, at delivering a realistic, um, highly varied, uh, unpredictable uh, experience um, that should be an improvement over uh, what Rogue Spear and its expansions were. So uh, please, if you download Black Ops version 2.0 and then you you f feel yourself uh, hankering for um, some of those weapons mods that you used to play in Rogue Spear, you can still uh, get those um, through uh, the Discord for um, Black Ops version 2.0, which you can find at the the Black Ops Mod DB page. There's a link there to it, uh, or at least there was uh, um, when I joined. But uh, by going to the Discord, you can get access to an archive of various mods, uh, weapon mods, and. Um, However, I'm not sure that that archive includes two weapons mods that I really want to uh, bring back, which was the, I think it was called the Coco Bolo Ops HK Weapons mod or something like that, but it was a Heckler & Coke themed weapons mod, and then there was another one called Tools of the Trade, which was, I thought was pretty good too. But um, in Black Bag, because I don't have any uh, 3D modeling uh, ability at present, and may never, I don't know, um, nor any good texturing ability, and again, I may never, uh, what I'm doing is I'm um, taking pieces and from various mods that are still available, weapons mods, and then I'm bringing them into uh, Black Bag so that uh, um, you know, so that I, I, I achieve what I'm trying to achieve without um, while still making up for the fact that I lack the ability to come up with original files myself. And like most of these archives, like it's abandoned where no one's working with them anymore. No one cares, you know, what you do with the files anymore. So, and I'm, I try to credit um, the original mods uh, where I can. Um, basically, right now I'm drawing from Nishi's model mod. Sputnik Satellites mod, um, maybe some Blastom Smurfs Weapons version 3, I think, NATO 3, Lloyd's Weapons mod 6, um, and I think that about covers it. Did I say NATO 3? Probably. So right now I'm kind of using some files from those various mods, 
Oh, and then there's a World War II mod that I'm using some some ass assets from too. Anyway, so uh, I'm I've gotten a little long-winded, but uh, let me show you uh, now what Black Ops version uh, two and Black Ops version 2 with black bag activated uh, look like. So let me boot this up. Hopefully it doesn't cause a crash. Okay, so I go into options and then mods and for now I'll deactivate black bag version uh, 0 0.88 go back to the main menu terrorist hunt and uh, we'll go with city street large terrorist hunt terrorists are and uh, so these are default firearms and uh, primary uh, with some frags <laughs> let's get back Cover this area. Cover this area. Cover this area. Cover this area. Oh. Yeah, 
shot through that little hole. No one's ever in this room, seems like. Is there someone? Yeah, there's a, someone else there, right in the corner. Can't tell if he died. good with that AK. Mission success. Objective completed. So that's pretty much the vanilla Rogue Spear experience. Now, if we go to main menu and then we Go to uh, options, mods, and we want version 0 0.88, and main menu, custom Terrorist mission, hunt. and uh, 
Let's see, let's do... Kind of like uh, Turkish Bazaar is a fairly small map. Terrorist hunt. Terrorists are scattered throughout the area. Your mission is to find a... It does, does wind, twist and turn quite a bit, but uh, as far as a box in size, it's a pretty small box. So, let's see, let's try something, um, and then we got the Glock 18C, and a grenade.
shaking off those flesh wounds. Success. Objective completed. So, uh, it gives you an idea. Um, of course, that's only one primary weapon and one pistol but uh out of the entire mod um but as you saw the uh ai was engaging in suicide bombing you didn't get to see much of them throwing or launching grenades because i didn't give them much of a chance but uh you'll see it if you play the game uh with the uh black bag mod uh installed the latest version so this is how you can play the original Rainbow Six uh, experience for free. Um, now, you know, as you move on to Raven Shield and especially when it gets into Rainbow Six uh, Vegas, then you're, you're starting to get into more cinematic experiences and um, less tactical ones. So 
uh, and like even the maps are designed in a very linear fashion uh, with only occasional branching off which usually winds up reconnecting somewhere else later but whereas uh, these maps are usually uh, of course while they're limited they are designed so that you could take like whatever route you want you know through the map um, that's not really the case with Vegas so if you want to play the original Rainbow Six experience um, and uh, do it on a on like Windows 10 or 11 then um, I'd say that Black Ops version 2.0 is the way to do it and if you want to play a weapons mod that is made for Black Ops then Black Bag is what I have to recommend since I'm the one working on it so anyway thanks for your time and I hope this uh, gives you an outlet for uh, either reliving some nostalgia, uh, getting nostalgic about uh, old gaming fun you engaged in, or whether you are kind of turned off by the commercialism and soullessness of some of today's modern games and you want something that reflects their original vision of a development studio such as Red Storm Entertainment, then um, try this. Give it a shot. So thanks.